What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Southside TV. What's up to all my Southside Pirates? Before I get into this video today, I need y'all to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video. You know what I'm saying? And for exclusive content, become a member for $1.99. Yup, $2 a month. That's it for exclusive content. But let's get on into this video. Let me turn the light off. Now, today I will be telling a part of my story when I was out there hustling on these streets. All right. Let's get on into it. Now. I'm going to tell y'all a story of how I caught my plug talking to undercover police. It, it, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. So, I'm staying in Lakeland, Florida. So, you know, I'm on the other side, you know what I'm saying, um, the no side. So, I'm going to tell y'all how I seen the plug. You know what I'm saying? That were giving people work in the neighborhood. How he was talking to the um, undercover, them jump out boys. So one day, I'm home. You know what I'm saying? I'm at home. I'm handling my business. I'm doing what I got to do. I look out the window of my apartment, and I notice that I see my plug. You know what I'm saying? He was out there. He hopped out the car. And he was out there talking. He he hopped in the car. Well, he hopped out the car. And um, he, he kind of like creeped down. They creeped down the street, right? And like in front of my apartment, it's a fucking hedge. It's like a long hedge that covers the um property line. And they stopped right there. And, like, he got the, the jump out boy got out the car. You know what I'm saying? And he was on um, my plug jumped out the back seat. So they was talking and stuff like that. And they were acting real suspicious. So I get up. You know what I'm saying? I was sitting in the chair in the kitchen looking out the window because I was doing my thing. You know what I mean? So I get up. I put the work up. I put everything up. Because they were looking around, they were talking. So you know how a nigga get paranoid and shit like that. So I'm looking at all of this stuff go on. So as soon as he hopped out the car and he was talking and stuff, I opened the door. I put everything up. I opened the door. And you know what I'm saying? I was acting like I was sweeping out the sweeping out the um the kitchen floor and stuff like that. And as soon as he seen me, bro, it's like everything just got awkward. You know what I'm saying? And he was looking at me like, oh, shit, one of the boys don't see me on um, talking to 12. So, like, later on that night when they left, later on that night, he come knock on the door. He was like, hey, bro, hey, bro, none of that, hey, what you seen, bro, it ain't like what you think it is. It ain't like what you think it is. So, I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? On that real street nigga shit. Like, hey, bro, check this out, bro. I don't want nothing to do with you. I ain't got nothing for you, bro. Like, hey, bro, everything gun done. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a wrap. It's over with. So, that same morning, my dog just barking. That, vest, that very next morning, yeah, my dog was just barking, going off, hoo, 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 all that. And I look at dude, like, you know what I'm saying? I look out the window, man, it's police every fucking well. It's police everywhere. So I'm I'm like, I'm looking, and I'm, they walking around the apartment. I'm nervous as fuck, but I'm, I'm talking about, bro, I was nervous as fuck. I'm flushing work down the toilet, every motherfucking thing. I'm doing it, bro. I'm getting rid of all that shit. So, when I look at this dude, you know what I'm saying, 
from the day before, I'm like, bro, he don't he don't told, bro. He don't told on neighborhood. So like the very next day, I see all that. So they but they kicked in one door. It was apartment. It was the last apartment. I was standing on the I was standing on the back end, and the last apartment got kicked in. So like when they kicked that shit in, of course they found drugs and all that shit. So I realized like, hey, he right here telling on people. You know what I'm saying to protect themselves. So I go back to the, I go to my other homeboy's house. I go to the other trap, you know what I'm saying? And I, I give them the rundown. I tell them, man, put this word out through the hood. Man, we got a rat amongst us. And I seen that nigga talking to 12. So my face is good. They know who I was. They already know how real I am. So they know like when, when, when I come and tell them something, they gonna believe it. So I told them, I'm like, Bro, we got, you know what I'm saying? Y'all put y'all work up. You know what I'm saying? The apartment right next to me, right, uh, like apartment down from me, done got kicked in. Ho I said, I'm luckily I ain't get kicked in. But y'all see how God, y'all see how good God is. He's seen it. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, man, thank you, Jesus. Like, bro, you like, thank you, Lord. You was with me. So, next thing you know, that very night, that very same night, we go, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the trap. They doing what they doing. And the very same night, coming in that following night, we, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? We click up and we finna go press, bro. We came back. We went to his house because his house was down the road. It was like it was on the corner. You know what I'm saying? That was his trap. He was serving. He was doing everything. So I'm like, the weed, man. I was like, the plug done became the snitch. And shit like that. So we go press him. We go to his house, right? We get the, we come there like four cars deep. Boom. We going in there. We finna go handle that. We finna go press him down. And like, you know what I'm saying? But when we got there, This man left everything. He left everything. He cleared. He got up out of the. He took his truck and everything. Everything. He was gone, bro. He was gone. Because he know what he did. It was a real street dude. The dude that was giving out work and stuff like that. Don't told. You know what I'm saying? So a real dude like that, you'll never know. That's why I say, man, these these street niggas, they shisty, bro. They'll tell on the they'll tell on the whole clip. So you'll never know. He knew he was wrong. That's why they ended up, you know what I'm saying, pressing him. And when they went to his house, he was gone. He was so scared he ain't, he ain't, um move anything got the apartment. He left everything done. He just took the cars. You know what I'm saying? That's how scared he was because he know he don't got caught. He know he got caught. And he know and he know that I know that he was a snitch. Because I seen it firsthand because they gave themselves away by acting suspicious and stuff like that. Like they wouldn't use like they wouldn't expecting to see me. So I told you know what I'm saying? So I told I told the people and I was like, look, man, I told my people, I was like, bro, we got a snitch out here, bro. We got a snitch out here. And that's when I realized the dude that I was buying work from was 12. He was the police. He was an informant. He told on his folks. He told on his folks, bro. And that's part one of my story. You know what I'm saying? I will tell more. But that's what happened. The dude that I was buying work from ended up being an informant snitch on these streets. And we went, when we went to go press him, you know what I'm saying? That same night, he was gone. He took all the cars. He took everything. You know what I'm saying? That was in his front yard. He left everything in the apartment. He was gone. 
we knew right then and there we had to keep our circle small. So that's why I say, man, y'all got to watch these street niggas, man. Because those sneak, them street niggas ain't about what they talking about. Real still. He knew when I called him jumping out the back of that police car. And he was talking to the police dude. And I'm thinking, like, he ain't get arrested or no shit like that. He ain't get no handcuffs on him. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you working with 12, bro. That's why I say y'all got to watch y'all surroundings, man. Because you don't never know how these street dudes will be in real life. And that's a situation I overcame, and I'm, I'm not ashamed of it. For real. I have more stories. It's your boy Southside TV. Until next time.